Hello everyone, my name is Raging Blaze, and today I'm here to bring you guys a brand new series to the channel. I finally, finally, finally have figured out how to record Pokemon on my channel. That's why I pretty much did Pitspawn. But we're going to kick this series off as Pokemon White version. It was one of my favorite Pokemon versions, and I just thought, well, you know, I need to... I need to pick a game that I can stick with and actually continue to play with some entertainment behind it. So I think that's pretty much what we're going to want to be doing in this series. But without further ado, let's start it off. I'm very excited for this series, guys. Very excited. <sighs> but by the way, this is just a vanilla game. This is a randomizer. I'm thinking if we do another series of randomizing, we might do it in the future. We might do randomizing. Because they know how to do that, so we can do that if you guys want to see that. <sighs> Alright, let's begin. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. By the way, I am probably be narrating in funny voices or stupid voices. I am. Sometimes I rant, sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm sad, but you know, that, that, that's just normal. But we're just gonna, uh, you know, we're just, just I'm, I am also gonna be speeding up through a lot of this as well because I'm playing on the emulator, so it's gonna be hard not to press the space button, the space button every once in a while. But, um, we're just gonna kind of, like, skip through this without really talking much about this, so we are the boy character, yes. So when you hear the music speed up, that's when I'm actually pressing the, uh, the space bar. We are gonna be playing. So. It's nice having my name lock nice and lock, like that or have something that I can actually believe me my name into. This is Sharon. If you guys haven't played um before, you should, it's a very awesome game. I enjoy it a lot. Very much, very much. So we are just uh fast forward through a little bit of this and here we go. We're in summer. Um don't think summer's appeared yet. It is June 2nd, so... So, I'm also sorry about... I apologize about these, uh, black lines. Um, optimizing this on my record... On my recording, so on OBS is, like, really weird. I'm gonna have to mess with it, and maybe in the future I can actually fix it, but these black lines are probably gonna stay here for most of the time. And I don't think I'll be able to create a layout quite yet, but maybe in future playthroughs when I get better at editing, because right now I suck at editing, so. Oh, yeah. So, we are gonna pick our, get our first Pokemon from Jennifer. Sorry, Blaze, right there. Yeah, she's late and everything. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Blaze's house, so Blaze is first back. Oh, yay! Naturally. Okay. So, we are gonna pick our starter for the series. I'm just tell I'm just stating now, I'm not picking Snipey. I, I despise Snipey. Snipey just absolutely despises. Alright, so yeah, they're going for Oshawott, Pepe, the poor Snipey. I'm not going Snipey, obviously. Um, you know what? I always go Oshawott, but this time I'm actually gonna do Pepe, because I haven't used Pepe. Ever since I actually first started playing this this game, the first time I ever played this game is when I actually picked Tepic as my first starter to choose. So we're 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 gonna go Tepi. I definitely need to also work on my commentary skills because that is uh, also a problem. But I'm a beginning YouTuber, so yes. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon on zero. Sharon doesn't even get a pick. Poor guy. Oh. How did he know what starters they were? I had no idea when I first started playing this. So, whatever. You should not Pokemon Battles inside a house. Yes. Don't be a worry more. Yeah. Uh, be a true statement. I'll use your statement. These little ones are going to let them set. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. And settle. Blaze, get ready for Pokemon. So here we go. The first battle in this game. Blaze versus Bianca. This is gonna be either easy or annoying. Because I losing your group battle is kind of a um, kind of almost kind of a setback. Also, I'm a, um if I ever get under leveled, I am gonna grind off screen and give a level up stuff. So 
I'm gonna try for the most part to keep the space the space button away, but since it's the beginning that one is just either it's gonna take so long to go. Like faster than me, it's cheap. Oh Lear. If you use tackle me, you're gonna like kill me. Kill it! Okay, we're good. He's gonna Yes, I just gotta fall to the ground. And we're gonna get almost a level. Sick. Wow. At least you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell, no doubt. Okay. Uh beyond what these people look around. Uh like, you know, you have to totally take our wooden ground, because like you just destroy the entire house. Whoa, whoa what happened? Be like a mean person. Be like, what happened? Wow, dude, Pokemon are amazing. It's a little bit so strong. I'm glad that I didn't have a Pokemon. Sorry about your room, Blaze. Not in this. Now she says she's sorry. Oh, how does he have a, the items to heal up a Pokemon even though he doesn't even have a Pokemon? This makes zero sense. I believe you're right. There will be no problem since you already destroyed the room entirely. Oh, look at my bed pillow. It's like, what? Bench is destroyed. My trash can is trash all over the place. Like, jeez. Nice going, Bianca. Completely ruined my house. Whatever. We are gonna fight Oshawott. This is the thing. Is Oshawott's like the most, the best order at um, effectiveness, like um, stats wise and stuff. I'm pretty sure. So it's gonna be annoying fighting like when I have a fully evolved Pokemon like M4 or something, um, he'll have a uh, Samurai. I mean, of course I'll have other Pokemon to take him down, but if it's just a starter v starter, that's not great, so. The Oshawott is down, we took, we took him out with somewhat, pretty much a lot of ease. We grew to level 6 and we beat Sharon. This feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer, but first we better apologize to another about this mess up. Oh, you better come do? Oh yeah, you messed it up in the first place. But like, well, in certain areas that are certain long dialogue that is very pointless, I'm definitely gonna speed up. So, at this beginning of the game, I don't, I mean, I don't really care that much. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of dialogue, especially if I've played through the Pokemon game before once. Or if I know what to do when I play through a Pokemon game. It's definitely, um, something that I don't care about. She was a trainer? That's something I didn't know. Maybe I should read the dialogue more. That teaches me something. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. Yay. D we need these in the world. I'm not even sure if they're an actual thing in the world, but we need those, like, fake. I think we have those. I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, we have them. What? I don't want to talk about we got those. Science. Wee. <laughs> And also, um, I might be only sp maybe speeding up in battles or dialogue, but like when I'm when I'm walking around, and when I speed up, I get serious frame loss. No, no, a thousand times, no. But I'm a good trainer, we got a Pokemon and everything. We totally go on an adventure. Just walks out, the dad doesn't even say anything. I'm gonna find the Pokemon lab for you, okay? I don't get kicked out of the house or anything. Cool. But, let us go give a nickname to our Pokemon. I think I'm going to go with Pokemon that have names, either, like, just a good name that I know that I use a lot, or a name, a name that I can think of. Like, I'm usually, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go with names that, um, have to do with the first level of the, of the like, real names that have to do with the first level of the Pokemon's name. So, for instance, if I have a Tepig, I'm going to name him something that has to do with teeth. Harry, or, um, uh, okay. I already have a perfect nickname for him. Oh, oh gosh. We are going to name him Parents. If I spelt it wrong, then so be it. He's gonna be the oddly named Terrence. Uh huh, I see. Terrence is name. such a great name. Well, what if I named it like Poop? Then you'd be like, Poop is such a great name. I'm 
nice. Nice work, Sharon. I don't know what they're called. I'll just call them Sharon or Sharon. I don't know. You've already studied before. Fast forward. Nobody cares about this part. It's the beginning of the part where, where you get the Pokedex and you help her out with the Pokedex. That's all it is. If you, if you have... I mean, if you really want to see the dialogue, please be my guest and play through it yourself for the dialogue, or just watch someone else's playthrough. But I know it's probably a dumb move to say don't watch someone else's playthrough, but still, I just, I mean, important dialogue like when it involves the rival or something. Hey, please wait up. Oh, there you are. And what did the people start to say? Should I see you complete the puzzle? I brought this review. These town maps take them with you. Cool, y'all get a town map. That's awesome. Super awesome. Um, yes, yeah, so yes, I know it's gonna be a very dangerous adventure, so we better, um, we better be safe and be careful and all that garbage. I would be the most reckless Pokemon trainer there ever is. Actually, to make this more interesting, I might. Um, I definitely know next playthrough, it, it might not be randomized, but it's definitely gonna have a twist. It could be a Nuzlocke or a Wedlock. I don't have to remember the rules of a Wedlock if I do it. I know that it might have to be in pairs, but okay. It will most likely be a, it will be a Nuzlocke next playthrough of the game. And hopefully that could be maybe a Sinner game, maybe even uh, a GBA game. That would be fun. I'll have to set that up in the future, but right now we are going through the tutorial of the game. I'm gonna fast forward this because this is just tedious. Oh my gosh. Well, everyone knows that you have to get the Pokemon and then you throw a ball. I mean, 30 Pokeballs is, is, is totally isn't gonna catch that. So what's a Pokemon to catch that? I think it's actually a little pup or some, but it's it's ridiculous. Pokemon's catch rates are kind of stupid, but whatever. Oh, look how beautiful this game is! With the leaves blowing from the flowers and the trees. The leaves blowing from the flowers, yes. Petals blowing from the tree or from the plant, from the flowers and the leaves blowing from the trees. <sighs> Hey, let's have a competition. We need to, we need to catch some Pokemon. Let's see if we can catch some Pokemon. I don't think I'm not going to catch a Pokemon for a while. I just... The, it's first round Pokemon. Nobody ever cares about first round Pokemon. Let's see. Let's start for the frame loss. Jeez. Come on. There we go. Well, our first Pokemon is a pack rat. If it's a shiny, I'll obviously catch it and obviously use it, but not unless we find a shiny. That would be awesome. But, I mean, hey, like on my Pitsamon series, that always says that my uh, shiny luck on Pitsamon is far different than a Pokemon. That is true, my, pit, my shiny luck is terrible in this game. Very terrible. When I find a shiny, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so... I just want to get to level 7. Ooh, level 4, level 5. Max level 3. Let's kill him, get up to level 7. Uh, I'm thinking 7 and a quarter. Or maybe even 7 and a half, depending on how much that speed this guy gives. The moves that are so annoying are the moves that are like, oh, um, I'm gonna raise my defense or lower your attack, so like you do less damage to them. It's like, come on. How so? How about a blaze? You go for uh, no. Oh, I have to. If you check the Pokemon, see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Cumulotown. The professor's waiting. Transceiver is raining. Please pick up the transceiver. I'm not gonna do that. Like that How's everybody doing? Um, you and your Pokemon are getting along now, right? Oh, professor. 
right now. I'm in front. Right. Yeah, right now. I'm in front of the Cumulative Towns Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around. Okay, the Pokemon Center. Right. Okay, see you. Yeah. So, we're gonna go into the Cumulative Town. We are gonna get introduced to the Pokemon Center and a bunch of that garbage. Bye, Professor Jennifer. I'm definitely gonna speed this part up because this is just tutorial central. There's the Pokemon there on the right, there's the healer in the front, and then there's the PC. That's all you need to know. PC stores, stores your Pokemon. The Nurse Joy there heals your Pokemon. As shown here. And the Mark, you can buy items to heal your Pokemon and catch Pokemon. And other things as well, but yeah. Of course, it's a shop, so. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Bad commentaries for the win, man. Ugh, pointless dialogue. I feel like I'm not, like I'm not talking a lot, and there's just gonna be this awkward silence. Just there, like, uh, okay. So many things to buy. Nope. Okay. So we are gonna hop out here. What was this? Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a look. A little look, see. Okay, so there. So we gotta check out what's in the plaza. Interesting crowd here. Blaze, come here, sir. Okay. This part I'm gonna say though. Yo, look, my name is Getsus. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you, talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Yes, I'm a Russian. I'm sure most of you have. Blah, most of you believe. That we humans and Pokemon are partners. I'm, I'm, I'm screwing this asset. We come together to live because we want to. We want and need each other. However, is this really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that is that this is the truth? I'm like totally butchering this asset. I am sorry. Pokemon and subject are the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are, are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no, no truth in what I am saying? No way, yikes! I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry. Now ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain known potential. They are living beings from whom the humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful be beings called P Pokemon? What could it be, Liberation? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. And then, only then, Will humans and Pokemon truly be equals? Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. I'm I'm not gonna do that said ever again. Never gonna do that again. Terribly done. Terribly done. Might just do a British accent, like. What about the about that speech? What do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Your Pokemon just now was saying. Slow down. You talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you can't hear it either. You too can't hear that. How sad. My name is N. My name is Sharon, and this is Blaze. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become a champion, though. The Pokedex, huh? 
So, you're going to find many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, please is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Okay, so we are going to be fighting in... Oh, this guy, this guy. We're going to be seeing him an awful lot throughout this game. He's got a purloin. We're going to mess him up. Come on, Tepper, you can do this. You, the embers. Oh, we burned it! Oh, we burned it! That is awesome. We are just going to burn. Burn! Burn it! I am um, gonna tackle you out of self-pity. <laughs> oh, we just beat him up. Terrence is actually a really good name for a pig. But we got seven hundred dollars for winning. Yay. As long as Pokemon are defining Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon, because they're my friends. Huh, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Strident City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Bye bye, Sharon. They just walk forward. They just disappear after walking forward. But, um, I think we're actually just going to end off the video here. I mean, a lot has been done. We've had a few battles. We battled our rivals. We were introduced into the, um, antagonist, antagonists? Evil organization. There. Evil organization of this game, Team Plasma, and their leader gets us. So, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, I think actually what I might do Terrace is only level 8, so I don't think we're gonna do any leveling. Maybe, maybe if we catch another Pokemon or not, I don't know, we'll see. But I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Bye!